All right, Coach, another good win tonight. I know senior night, lots of stuff going on, and then you get two more goals from Kalen Dudukovic. Uh, just kind of take us through the take us through the match and the four goals. Yeah, I mean, I, I just think it was a really well played um, game. I think Ohio University gave us some things that we had to adjust to, and, and I thought that our team, um, for the first time this season, really made some really good adjustments uh, on the fly and um, loved seeing our seniors all out there playing and, you know, having both um, uh, Kena back and having Emma Sears out there, it makes a huge difference, you know, just from a, a perspective of leadership and experience, so it's um, a really good team win tonight. Oh, you got the equalizer on a PK. It wasn't too much later after that you guys responded right back. They kind of took the authority right back to them and took any steam they had. How big was that? Yeah, so I mean, one of the things we've been really trying to be conscious of is, um, you know, if a mistake is made, we got to move forward. we got to move on. We can't dwell on it. And our response to that mistake is really what matters the most. And I thought tonight it was a really great response. And, um, you know, again, as we changed shape and we made some adjustments late in the second half, it didn't take away from our capacity to attack. We had players, you know, willing to do the work to get forward and, and still create uh, goal scoring chances. And, you know, Ava um, had a fantastic goal. What a wonderful assist by, by Kalen. So um, you know, it's a really great way to put a stamp on the game. And the last two things you hit on a little bit with the addition of Emma and Kina back. What do those two mean um, in the center of the field there for you? Yeah, so, I mean, Emma's being asked to play in a totally new role, in a different role. And, um, you know, she's only been back a couple of weeks. And so, you know, getting her body, you know, back used to uh, the stride that she knows how to run and, and those things, it's, um, it's taken her a little bit of time. And then, you know, Kina just becomes another playmaker for us. And, you know, her vision and her capacity just to do the right thing at the right time um, is, is just, it's world class. So to have them both back right now, it just takes a lot of pressure off. Um, you know, some of the other leaders who are, you know, trying to do their job as well as they can. So it gives a little bit of break to those freshmen that have been putting in a ton of minutes and um, it just puts some experience back on the field. And lastly, it seems like we talk about it every game, but, you know, you saw it after the first game she had two goals. Uh, but Kaylin, again, another night, third night this year with two goals and an assist, seven goals in six matches so far. Did you see this kind of a start from her to come to preseason? Well, we spent a lot of time in the offseason talking about, you know, what her capacity uh, could be in her junior year and then moving into her senior year. I mean, she's got tremendous abilities, and she spent a lot of time, you know, doing all the right things and taking care of the small details off the field, uh, changed her nutrition a ton, and, um, you know, and I think it's just paying off. She, she spent a lot more time um, conquering her fitness and making sure that her fitness was ready to go if we needed her for 90 minutes. And that just makes all the difference in the world, her capacity to press and, you know, help us in defending and then still have the energy to get forward and, and be dangerous in the attack. The thing I love about the way she's playing right now is there's just a calmness about her in front of the goal. There's no panic. Um, and it, it, it just is uh, it's a dangerous weapon because she just has a great control of her body and knows that if she just places the ball past the goalkeeper, it's a good chance she's going to score.